Welcome everyone to the webinar. It's an exciting time in the in the evolution of the Daxi Exchange. It's now the 7th of March 2021. That is a very important day that you have to write down on a bit of paper, put on a sticky note, put on your fridge because tonight um, we've got uh, Mr. Ed Ludbrook, the owner, founder and true visionary behind the cryptocurrency called the Daxi Coin, the Daxi Exchange and the Daxi Ecosystem. It's been my privilege to be involved with Daxi since day one back in August of 2017. It's um, been a long time coming to have this type of webinar. This is the powerhouse and the true power of what the, the Daxi ecosystem is going to allow us to really do in the world of cryptocurrency for the next millennial. It's going to be around for a really long time. And um, as I've done with a webinar recently, you know, this is not a pump and dump coin. This is going to be a powerhouse within the ecosystem of cryptocurrency. It is going to be one of those big coins that a lot of our friends are going to say, I wish I bought it. Weren't you lucky to get it when you got it at whatever price it is that they say, because who knows what the price is going to be, but it's going to be a very, very exciting time for everyone on screen tonight. Everyone listening to this webinar in the next few weeks is going to really benefit from the wisdom and the vision of Ed Ludbrook. He's a great friend. He's community focused. He, he loves what he's doing to help people generate wealth within cryptocurrency safely. And I'm going to put it over to you, Ed. Thank you very much for joining the webinar. Um, really appreciate your time, effort and knowledge and the way that you look after your um, friends, family, and of course, the Daxi community. Thank you so much, Squid. Good evening. In fact, good morning also for those to the UK. I see Dave there, the Squire. How are you, Squire? But it's, it is fantastic to see everyone. This is actually probably the most important presentation that I've done in the company in nearly four years. And I think you will find it fascinating. Because what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to explain about uh, the listing. In, in reality, I could probably just send everyone an email with the details. But the, the challenge with this is to truly understand why things are happening. Because if you don't understand why things are happening, you are literally going to make a mistake and act impulsively and act in a way that we really want you don't want you to do. And look, I don't know uh, who's watching this. Okay, you may have... You may have actually bought some Daxi coins in 2017 or 18 or 19 or 20 or 21 or, you know, or you're thinking of buying them. And what I want you to do is to really understand where we're at, because we have, as an organization said, um, and we hope we've been very transparent about our strategy for what's going to happen with this coin. We've made it very clear that we will only list it when the time is right, because we're not trying to do what most other organizations do with their coin, which is look, you know, they raise some money, they throw the coin on exchange, and that's, that's that, you know, good luck to you if, you've, if you found that. And so what I want to do is to go through this process and give you some detail. And I, look, I apologize for the amount of information I give you, but I find that, in the years I've been in this industry, there's an enormous amount of sort of BS. You know what I mean, right? And there is, the market is very new. And so what we want to do is to understand how this works. And so you get the right framework. A lot of people think that this listing is the finish line. And at the end of this, you'll realize that it's just the start line. And the real value is going to be delivered. And what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to make the probably the most important announcement that we have made for many years. And when you understand what I'm going to talk about, it is going to be the major driver of this of this coin that that we have kept in our back pocket. No one has known about it. Okay. And it and when you understand its relevance to where we're at today, I think you're going to get, especially if you if you own that coins, I think you're going to get very very excited about what's happening um and so that's what we're going to do i've got a lot of um 
I've got a lot of slides to go through, and I hope you do understand that Daxi is different. We're very defined about our niche, and, un, and you know we're a big organization now. We have five, about to go six offices around the world. We've got a big staff. We've got you know exploding revenues at the moment. We've got licenses coming around the world, and enormous, and, and an acceleration of the business, which is different. And so out of that is going to come a listing. Okay, and and I, I'm, I'm going to answer questions as we go through. And I'm, I, what I mean by that is I'm going to give you information that will answer your questions. Please do not, you know, please do not try and berate me to get questions that you have, have answered because I'll probably answer. At the end, we'll get a bit of a chance to be able to do that. And, um, and then we'll, we'll go through it. Is everyone ready? Super duper, so am I. <laughs> I've been looking, looking forward to this all day. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Okay, so you can tell me. Can you see that? Perfect, Dad. Can you see that? Fantastic. Okay, guys, so look, in this industry, you always have to start with a disclaimer just to make sure that you guys don't think that I'm giving any investment advice or any advice at all other than education. When you understand what we're doing, hopefully you're going to be empowered. But if you're not sure, don't act impulsively. Oh, impulsively. This is a very changeable marketplace. Take independent advice. The only thing we always say is make sure that your independent advisor understands this industry, okay, because it, it ain't like shares or property or anything like that. So the point is, okay, our objective is to create a global top 50 crypto. What that means, that when they have the ranking of coins in the world, that we're in the top 50. Now, you need to understand that as of today, there were 8,701 listed cryptocurrencies in the world. 8,701 and our goal is to be the top 50. So you can imagine, if you had a look, you'll imagine how valuable that is. And we're going to do that because of the listing process that we're going, that I'm going to explain to you. Okay, the strategy we're doing to dominate this, this niche called the crypto wealth sector. And I'll explain how all of that works. Now, when we talk about, when we talk about our ecosystem, whether it's the communities or the platforms or the exchanges, at the heart is the Daxi coin, okay? But I want you to understand, but that's not our heart. Our heart is people, okay? Our heart is people. We are, maybe some of us are a bit weird, all right? But in reality, these are the people that, that matter to us. And I brought these questions out. Some of you may recognize yourself in these, in these meetings. But the point is, is that, you know, this is a people business, okay? And they are the heart. And what makes a lot of people look at crypto and they see it, it's all about technology, but it's not. It's about this technology, empowering people, building worth, wealth, and making it difference, which is why we talk. When you see the Daxi term, we, we, we say partners to prosperity. Our goal is to help, and everything we do is to help people like you build your wealth, and because it's different, we think you need a partner. So when we look at why we're focused on achieving this global top 50, you need to appreciate that this coin is not designed to be just to sit on some exchange. It's designed to be used within our ecosystem. Got that? It facilitates features that allow our business to operate in, a, in an effective way. And, and when it comes to these sort of subjects, it's incredible, the, opinion, the opinions of people. Like as Squid was saying before, there's, there's going to be some people that are going to die when they see what we're announcing because they always said, oh, it's probably a scam and it's, you know, it's never going to survive and it's never going to list. They're going to die when they, when they hear what we're actually doing because of the credibility and trust that we're bringing to our organization. Now, I, I hope you can see that, this, that when, a, when a company normally lists a coin, what they do is a team has an idea, they write a white paper and they create a coin, okay? They then use that coin that raises money, okay, through what's called an initial coin offer or an ICO. And then they throw that coin on an exchange and because they never really support it properly, it becomes what's called a liquid. Okay, 
maybe not at the start, but eventually it becomes a liquid because they haven't used the right strategy. And that obviously, if you own coins, is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, it's a nightmare. And it's a very normal thing in, in any small capitalization or, or a new market. Okay, so what I need to explain to you is how to get in the global top 50. So what do you have to do to get there? Okay, then why will the Daxi coin, why, why the Daxi coin should be in the top 50? And lastly, what's the listing process that we're going to use? Okay, so what you need to know is that you need a right strategy to be a top 50 coin, okay? And when you look at all assets, liquidity is everything. And liquidity is buying and selling. You've got to have that trading to be able to drive the price, to drive the confidence, and also if you actually own coins, to have the ability to sell. Does everyone get what I've said? Yeah? You get what I said? Okay, cool. So look, when it comes to crypto liquidity, um, the best way, the best place to look at this is a thing called coin market cap. So there are three major extra, um, websites in the world where all of the da data about coins and sales go on and so you can have a look at what's happening in the market and there's coin market cap there's coin gecko and a chinese one that i can't even pronounce okay it's pretty big but it's all in chinese and when it comes to sort of english speaking world um, coin market cap is about three or four times bigger than coin gecko so we do that so when you go on that page okay so if you've gone there you'll notice that this is the first page and it's got those major coins. You can see it, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Binance coin. And can, can you see the highlighted area? Can everyone see that? That's the volume. So that's the turnover, the liquidity uh, that is created on all the different exchanges. And obviously, because they're the big coins, okay, the numbers are pretty big. And those numbers come from, um, they come from, a, from, a page. So if you look, this is Litecoin's page. And if you click the markets, it'll show you the different exchanges and the turnover of the pair. Can everyone see that? So Binance is the top. Binance, that's Litecoin versus US dollar. And you see the volume. Can you see the volume? $304 million. And so when we look at the liquidity, it's just where they add up, they sort of add up all of those turnovers. And so for us as a business, we need to create that liquidity to be successful. And I show you that exchange there, okay? It's because it's about traders. Traders are the people who create the real liquidity. And I've shown that one to be Korean because most of the liquidity comes out of Asia. Got that? And so for us as an organization, we need to ensure that us as an organization, we are attracting that market because they're the guys that create liquidity, okay? So the first lesson I want you to understand is that liquidity comes from trading exchanges. Does everyone get that? Give me a yes. Yes, cool. Okay, the next thing you need to understand is that exchanges are not equal, okay? There is a dramatic difference in, in exchanges and I rank them from one to four. When number one, tier one exchanges are just the big boys. There literally are five, six of these big boys and they have tens of millions of traders, okay? And because they have tens of millions of traders, they have massive volume. Look at Binance, $23 billion in one 24 hour period. And what I want to do is to highlight, you see I've highlighted those coins. Can you see that? So Binance listed 337 coins, Coinbase Pro 46 coins. And I want you to understand that the major exchanges do not list many coins. There are 8,700 coins in the world, and they're only listing, you know, a couple of hundred coins, less than 3%. Okay. And this is important to understand. So that's tier one, the big boys. Okay. Now, it's, if you can get on a tier one exchange, it's fantastic. But there are then there are tier two exchanges, and they have millions of traders, and they have hundreds of millions, if not billions, of daily turnover. And there's around, there's sort of 25 of them, okay? 
And what's important about those is that they are also support the market. And I'm, I'm not sure you can see, I'm not sure you can see there. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try and get that. I'm not sure whether it's in the way. Can you see that they also list very few coins? Can everyone see that? So 200 coins, 13 coins, 150 coins, uh, 54 coins, 300 coins. And that's important because when you're looking at listing, you've got to understand how competitive it is. Does everyone get that? Yeah? Because this is really important points. So then you have tier three exchanges and tier three exchanges are all the other credible exchanges. And the critical thing about this is this is actually the list of trading for one of Australia's leading exchanges. And the key thing to understand there is that 99.4% of all of the volume on their exchange for that 24 hour period was actually only in the top 10 coins in the world. So if you're trying to list a coin and you're not, not a top 10, you're not gonna get much liquidity. And if you don't get the liquidity, then you have a problem listing. There are tier four, um, tier four exchanges, but they're rubbish. And there are lots of them. And lots of rubbish coins list on lots of rubbish exchanges. And we don't give a damn about them. So I don't even want to talk about them. But there are, you know, there are lots of lots of these tier three ones. Um, you see them in Australia, you see them in the UK, and they're fantastic. The problem is, is only a few of them list new coins. All right. My point with this is to teach you to understand that these are the realities of, sorry, I'm just moving that. These are the realities of trading. So if you want liquidity, you have to list on tier one and two, two tier one or tier two um, exchanges, and they don't list many coins. So whatever you got to do, you got to make sure that your strategy ends up in that. In fact, the key is to get on the first page of coin market cap they list 100 coins okay and getting on that first page means that you get the attention of the trading market and because you get their attention they trade your coin and because they trade your coin you have more liquidity because you have more, more liquidity they want to trade more and therefore you get that sort of buzz it's like being on the first page of google you need to get on that page and there is a little known fact of what has to happen for you to get on there. Because on CoinMarketCap, every, um, they, they have 100 coins per page. So at the, when you look today at the 100th largest coin by ranking, which is called Puni X, can you see that? It's called Puni X. Now you can see the value there is 478 million. Okay, so that's pretty good. Be on the first page, you're even number 100 and you've got $478 million in market cap for your coin. When you look at the next page, so this is the bottom of 200. So number, so, so number 200th coin is Library Credits coin. It grew, it's grown 30% the last week and its value is $108 million as far as the value. Okay, everyone get this? Now look at this, that's number 200. This is number 201. Number 201 is worth how much? $3 billion market cap. 202, 2 billion. Okay. And the key, and the key thing to understand there. Yeah, look. You might have to just mute that. So the key thing there is to understand that look. Number 200 is 108, yet number 201 is 3 billion. And the reason for that is there is a little known, there is a little known fact that to list on the top 200 coins, you must list with three of these platforms. Does everyone understand what I said? So if you are not on three of these platforms, you cannot you cannot be in the top 100 coins. And there are only 17 exchanges. And so when we look at our strategy, you've got to be on those 17, on three of those exchanges. And so everything that we do is focused on doing that. 
does everyone just understand what I just said? So to get, so the whole strategy of listing is based on getting on the top, top page. And if you don't do it, you got, you're in trouble. So that is the first part of the listing strategy is just to understand, okay, I've got to get with three of those, three of those exchanges. And where I'm excited, I'm excited to say that we have agreement with four of them. Okay. And it hasn't been very easy. And that's why it's taken so much time. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is why Daxi coin should be a top 50. And, and this is all about creating demand. And so when it comes to creating demand, it's all about your story. What's the potential of your coin? Now we know Bitcoin is, is now all the talk is about a store of value. It's about being digital gold. Gold is worth 9 trillion. Bitcoin solves the issues that physical gold has. And so if it was worth 5 trillion, 20 million coins, then you can imagine each coin being worth $250,000 per coin. And it's, that's, why, that's why people are still buying it now. Because when you look forward, when you look forward, it's 50,000 US now and say, hey, look, this is a story. This could actually grow by maybe three, four, 500%. People are talking about a million dollars a coin. It's, it's the story that really drives the growth of that coin, even though it's worth a trillion dollars. The other thing you need to understand is that when we talk about the growth, we talk about these crypto waves. If you know anything about Daxi, you, would, you probably have seen this graph, which I created to show people that we had this wave back in 2017, and now we've got the second wave and you need to buy crypto. And those people that saw this wave, a year ago or two years ago and acted, I think are very, very happy that they, they, they listened to what we said. But what I want you to understand is that those waves are just the start. The next part, the next development of this industry is what's called the tokenization wave. And what's going to happen is we're going to use this crypto technology to create asset tokens. And where this first wave is worth maybe, I don't know, five, maybe $10 trillion, the experts are, are saying that this next wave after it, the tokenization wave, is going to be worth somewhere between 50 and $250 trillion. It means it's somewhere between 10 and 25 times bigger than the wave that we're currently in that everyone's getting so excited about. The next wave is even bigger. And this tokenization, really, all you got to do is Google and, and research it. And I think this report was one that came out of um, Ernest & Young or Deloitte's or the OCD, someone like that. And what they did was that they showed how they're going to tokenize currencies. They're going to tokenize loyalty points. They're going to, they're going to tokenize any way that we can pay. pay. All right. The next thing is they're going to tokenize physical things. So we already tokenize got precious metals, gold, silver, platinum. But you can also tokenize automobiles, fine art, real estate, uh, bonds, shares, food, pharmaceuticals. You can tokenize all of this. And basically, they're saying that tokenization can turn almost any asset, either real or virtual, into a digital token and therefore the value can be traded and stored and that's why it's so big and all we're really talking about is on a general blockchain creating creating that token which is a representation of that asset or it actually is the asset and then what happens once you create the token when people buy that token or or sell that token it creates a transaction on the blockchain which has to be paid for in a fee and those fees are what you pay for with the native token and this is the story of why ethereum is the world's second largest asset valued at nearly 200 billion dollars it's all about that simple solution and because everyone is now talking about this whole thing around, around the crypto, uh, around the tokenization space, that's why there was this big buzz. That's why, look, this graph, you can see that that arrow points at, at January this year. 
It's why the market started to get really, really excited. It's why when you look at the top 10 coins in the world, that five of them are related to this blockchain infrastructure, Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, Polkadot, Binance coin. It's all about this value and they have exploded in value. Look at Cardano's price boom. Look at Polkadot's price boom. The real story is in Binance coin. So Binance is the world's last, largest exchange and you can see the value, even though the market was booming, the value of the coin stayed long and then suddenly, suddenly in January, it was announced that also the Binance's coin could be used on the Binance blockchain. And suddenly its coin jumped by 25 times in literally a couple of weeks. It became the world's most valuable one. Now I've been looking at this for ages. This is me attending the world's first token conference in New York in May in 2017. And after that conference, I created Daxi, okay? I created Daxi because I saw the potential of this technology to create a niche for the people called crypto wealth. And all that is, we call it crypto wealth there. We didn't call it back there, crypto wealth. But all it is, is as I said, it's like you're, you're building your wealth, buying these assets that are created on a, in a tokenized form. So, you know, cryptocurrency is a tokenized form, okay? But you can tokenize shares. Now, the, the global equities market is 90 trillion. The global commodities market like gold is 9 trillion. The global fractionalized assets, so you can take a property and tokenize it so the people can buy a small part of it. That market is 300 trillion. Bonds, so you can tokenize lending, that's 100 trillion. You can tokenize income streams. You can tokenize crowdfunding, which is what we were super excited about. But if you look, it's a $500 trillion market. We're by tokenizing it, it makes it simpler, it makes it easier to trade, and it, and it creates new opportunities. Suddenly, the people can get involved in that and they can do that globally. That's why it's so big. That's why all the big industrial companies, why these big banks like uh, Goldman Sachs and Mellon Bank and Deutsche are talking about creating custodial organizations to look after the digital assets of their big clients because they're talking about tokens, not just Bitcoin. And so when we look at how the sector that relates to us, we start in cryptocurrencies, which is where we're at at the moment. But then we evolve into the tokenization world, and that literally could be worth $10 trillion, $10 trillion. It's an enormous number of zeros by, the, by 2030. And it, just that tokenized crowdfunding should literally be a trillion dollar market. And that's, this is what Daxi is looking to lead. And so the business model that we have that uses the Daxi coin the coin has separate uses. So when we think about it, this coin is the wealth building coin because it's based on helping people build their wealth by using, by, by actually buying these assets. And so the first part is the community currency, okay? And so we are already doing this. So the coin is being used to, you know, for custom incentives, for partner incentives, for us to be able to, you know, to build a partner network all across the world. So we have our own currency to do that. We're going to put it in e-commerce currency and we're going to put it in staff incentives. So we're already doing that. And that has enormous value. We don't know how much Daxi coin we need to do that, but it could easily be a billion dollars worth of currency. Okay, when, when it comes to the next one, we talk about as, as an exchange currency. So we, those of you that have been a, with us for a while know that we will be launching venture exchanges, secondary markets to drive our ecosystem. And there already are exchange currencies on the market. It's their sole value, okay? And they're still worth a trillion a billion dollars. And then the use is obviously the innovation currency. And this is what a lot of people talk about because they understand what's happening here. And what happens here is that we're building this global platform. 
And by building this global platform, what we're doing is we're building 100 exchanges all around the world. And each country has their own exchange. And by linking them all together, we can revolutionize crowdfunding or innovation funding as we call it. And by having our own currency, we're able to send money. So someone who wants to invest from Mexico into something in Australia, they can do so very easily um, by using our own currency. And the value there literally, the value there literally could be in, in sort of billions. That total market is a trillion dollars. But this isn't the really major use. And I need you to pay a lot of attention. I know I've got given you a lot of detail, but right now I want to announce something. And this is the really powerhouse use of the Daxi coin. And the Daxi coin, what we're going to do is when you look at that platform, you see that Daxi is at the heart of that organization. When in fact, at the heart of that network is a new system whereby if we have 100 platforms all around the world, all those platforms will be doing what? Launching tokens. They'll be launching tokens. So you, in that organization, they'll be launching tokens. In that organization, they'll be launching tokens. And that organization will be launching tokens. And that's why at the heart of the Daxi network, we are launching the Daxi chain. We are launching our own blockchain. And in our own blockchain, that's where the real use of the Daxi coin. This will be the world's specialist crowd wealth blockchain using the latest generation of blockchain technology. Those of you that know us, we have the developers to be able to build this already. We'll be able to create instant, low fee, global transactions. And unlike all these other tech companies, we're a, we're a marketing organization. We have the companies where people will come to them and say, hey, I want to raise money or I want to do something. And we'll say, okay, that's fine. We just need to create a token and you create the token and you put it on the Daxi chain. And what happens is that everyone who makes a transaction with those tokens, wherever they are, anywhere in the world, the way they pay their fee is through the Daxi coin. So no more paying an Ethereum or anything like that. In fact, the Daxi coin will be the Ethereum of the crypto wealth market based on the Daxi chain. And that will be launched next year because it has to fit in within a global organization. So when we look at this coin, the reason why it can be a, the reason why it can be a top 50 coin is because the use case is so big. It, it has four major elements to it, but the powerful one is always going to be the Daxi chain because it's the blockchain upon which everything can operate. And what I want you to understand is as I said to the start for people, what I need you to, to appreciate is that no matter how long you've been with us, you need to understand that this listing is not the finish line. It's the start line. It's why we keep telling everyone we're in pre-launch. And therefore the real value creation in this coin in this company starts after we start launching all of these global exchanges and linking them together and putting them and all these tokens onto the Daxi chain and everywhere in the world, all these tokens and all these customers are all, all doing transactions and all the fees are paid for by the Daxi coin. And that's why when people ask me about the value, what's the potential value of the coin, very quietly, I can't, I can't do it publicly, but quietly I'll, I'll, I'll tell them numbers that shock them. And the reason is, is because of this. So Daxi as an organization, we're really launching in 2022, okay? And all the stuff that we've been doing have been all designed to ensure this. And the only reason we haven't been talking about this, the only reason we haven't been talking about this is we didn't want to tell the world. This is a competitive world, but now we are in technology terms so far ahead of other organizations. Good luck to them to try and catch us, okay? 
because they will have to well they will have to they will have to develop a technology platform that they, that will mean they're probably even with the best resources probably 12 months behind us and we're accelerating in what we're doing so when we look at our future we need to list this coin but we need to do it understanding that we need to be what we need to get on the what we need to get on that first page and that means that we must actually get on those tier two and tier one um, exchanges because only then will you have the liquidity and the time is right to do it lots of people have wanted me to list this coin beforehand and the only reason i'm doing it and people have asked me this why are you doing it now we're doing it now because the market is positive and because the market is talking about tokenization. It's only happened in the last few months with the whole boom of DeFi and decentralized exchanges and the tokenization stories. It's all come through. So for us as an organization, we want to make this coin a top 50 coin by the end of the year. And then we, we need to drive the value. If you don't have the value behind a coin, it's just some rubbish. Okay, I won't say what it really is, but it's like, it's only some rubbish. You actually have to have viable transactions, business transactions underneath that. So here's the process. Okay, the first thing we're doing is we need to do a, what we call a soft launch. It's a pre-launch and we're listing on an exchange on the, on the 29th of April. It's a small tier three exchange and it's based in Estonia and we're putting it, we're doing it with them because we have an office in Estonia. We have a European license in Estonia. So we can work with them to be able to do that. Now, as I said, this is a pre-launch. This is for us. We don't expect anyone to even think of, of liquidating any coins at, at this stage, okay? Because we don't want you to think about that. But we have to launch as part of this process. It's the big boys expect that. And a few weeks later, we will then start what we call the foundational stage where we are listing with four tier two exchanges. Two of them currently are in the top 10 exchanges in the world. Collectively, they allow us, as I said, to get onto and be listed on the top 200, on the top 200 exchanges in the world. And then through some pretty, this is a very expensive process, a very hard process, but it's, everything is organized to, to be able to do that. And then the next stage, and the most important stage is what we really call is, is the launch because we have the liquidity. And as I said, you get on these, you get in the major part of coin market cap, you get that story, you spend the money in marketing to ensure that the real value is coming out. And that's later on this year. And in fact, the real price action we expect to happen next year. And the point here is that everyone is going to ask me which tier two exchanges. I can see you now and I know I'm surprised it's not, we're getting a flood of questions. We can't tell you. We are under an NDA. The way it works is this, is with tier two exchanges, what happens is that they make the announcement two weeks before the listing. And if you announce the exchanges before that, they have the right to cancel them. And the reason they do that is because they want their listing is about their people. And they've found that um, coins in the past have agreed a listing, announced who they're listing with, raised a whole lot of money, and then bug it off. Do you understand that? And so that we cannot tell you what they are. But the point is, is collectively, those exchanges have over 10 million customers and turn over over $5 billion a day. They're effectively like a tier one exchange, okay? So that is, that is a rule we cannot break. But the point is, is that obviously, I wouldn't be making this announcement if, you'd, if I wasn't, you know, that, that everything wasn't organized to be able to do that. Us as an organization, our job is to take the story of the Daxi chain, of the Daxi network, of the Daxi coin, of the, the, of the crypto market and take it around the world. But especially to build our community within the crypto trading market which isn't the market that we're currently in. Some of you are traders, you know what I'm talking about. It's about Reddit and Twitter and, and the crypto media. So we are gonna spend an enormous amount of money educating those people about what we're doing. So a lot of people, I know a lot of people have coins and they're gonna ask me, when do I sell? Well, please don't do what we call 
the I call it the Bitcoin blunder. All right. And anyone who's been in this space will have met people who go and go, oh, I used to, I used to own Bitcoin. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought it. It was four thousand dollars. Well, what happened? Oh, I sold it. And you go, well, I'd just sell it. <laughs> they go, oh, well, you know, I made a profit. And you just go, oh, that's great. But didn't someone tell you that, you know, that the real price, price vision for Bitcoin is like a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand? And they go, oh, yeah, but, but I just, you know, because where you see there at 12,000, within two months, it was up at 50,000. And so all those people who were selling at 12,000, how do you think they feel now? They feel sick. They feel sick because they didn't have enough confidence and belief in the story that, that was being told, that the real analytical, analytical thing. And so, you know, you do what you like, but please, we are telling you that the, the original listings are not, as, as these things are just the start. It's not the finish, okay? We want you to get the maximum you possibly can out of this, out of the process that we're doing. And the real value will happen next year because that's when the market is going to understand exactly what we're doing. Now, obviously, because of the listing, this is the last month. So we are going to increase the price by 20% on the 30th of March. We can't tell you what the, the, what the first exchange listing prices because that's negotiated with the exchange much closer but obviously it's going to be at least the sort of at least the high price and the other thing is obviously the DAC pack will stop on the 30th of March so you only have the month of March to buy the the DAC pack ahead of all of these things that we're talking about the fact is is that you know we want you to join what we're doing we want you to join what we're doing. It doesn't make any difference whether you, whether you bought coins in 2017 or whether you bought it one day ago. We are literally at the start of what we're doing. Anything of value, any organization of value will turn around and tell you that it, it takes time. And for us, you know, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. So in summary, summary, I hope you see that as an organization, there has been this enormous amount of strategic analysis to ensure that what we're doing creates a coin that truly reflects the value of what we're doing. We have a business that could, that could create a top 10 coin. And as such, it will have the value of a top 10 coin. We have that model. We have that niche. We have no competitors at the moment, and we're, we think we're 12 months ahead of the market, and it has taken us you know, more than three years of development and pioneering to get us where, the, where we are. We haven't told anyone about the Daxi, cha Daxi chain because we didn't want to. We didn't think the timing was right, and now is the perfect timing. But that will be driving what we're doing. It literally will be the, the Ethereum of the trillion dollar, multi-trillion dollar crypto wealth market. And as such, I hope that uh, I hope you get excited about it. Do you know what I mean? I, I know I bombarded you with a whole lot of information. And I, and I did think about whether I did like a quick 10 minute one and educate you. But, but look, this is being recorded. And this is important. You understand this, you take advantage of this. And then, and then honestly, the value that you can get out of this will be, will be transformational. This is the sort of thing that changes lives. And that's what we want to do. We want you to, to go on a journey with us. So you're involved in 2030. So you're, you know, that you're getting involved in buying bits of property and, you know, innovative, innovative shares and, and using all the value to be, able to, to be able to really, really build an exciting business. Okay. An exciting wealth for you. I, I personally just want to put a shout out because this is for the Australian business. And I really want to thank this. I've seen there's a whole lot of guys that, that I know. There's, there's, there's Dee, there's, there's Andy, there's, you know, there's Bruce. There's, there's lots of you that have, that have helped. There's, I, I'm, there's Andy Tran. But guys who had the confidence that we weren't just creating some silly business, okay? Some weird scam coin or whatever. 
There's a reason why we've operated the way we have and the purpose is, is just to make sure that we, that we take full value of this. You know, all these tech areas take a little bit of time. It took time for Google to get where it is. It took time for social media and Facebook to get where it is. It took, takes time for everything like that. We're not trying to be Facebook, but hey, we'd like to be in that world. We'd like to be a LinkedIn. And the point is, is that when you look through this, you will have questions, okay? And we will evolve a lot over the coming months. But for those of you that own DAT coins, I hope you see that you will lock them up, lock them up, put them in the bottom drawer and ensure that, that in, in a period of time, I think that you will be very surprised about the value that you will get from them and the confidence to actually know that, hey, look, hey, look, this was a journey that was worth it, all right? So thank you all so much. Um, I'm just wondering whether there are uh, a few questions that I can answer. Um, I don't see any questions there. I just see lots of thank yous and it's so exciting, which is all great news. <laughs> great news to see that. I, I don't know whether, you, whether you're on there, Squid, um, and yeah. can ask. But All right, uh, guys, look, um, in light of the time now, it's uh, it's getting fairly late for Ed and he's got another UK webinar tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. at Queensland time for the UK team. So if you didn't make it on to the webinar tonight, make sure you jump on that one in the morning. Um, it's going to be, uh, you know, Ed's uh, we'll, we'll do the better the better one in the UK because he's um, he always always practices on Australia and thank God he does because we get the coins better than everyone else. But yeah, thank you very much, Ed. I really appreciate it. We are going to do an AMA uh, coaching call this Thursday night. Yeah. Um, I think that is the 11th. I am 11th. We're going to do the normal Sunday night AMA. So use the link from the normal call tonight on Thursday night, 8 o'clock. Uh, we'll go through uh, all the information that Ed's um, gone through tonight. Um, so in the next few days, remember that um, this will be YouTube. So make sure you watch the YouTube. Absorb the full ramifications of what Ed is doing with the DAX exchange and the um, having our own blockchain uh, commencing in 2022, not now. Now is just the establishment phase for an absolute monument of um, currency usage on the DAX exchange and tokenizing assets is what the name of our exchange is. So we don't use, um, as of next year, we won't be using ERC20, we'll be using a DACXI. So <laughs> That'll be very, very exciting. Um, as you can see, the price of uh, BNB has gone through the roof when they announced that, and it stayed up high. And um, you know, this is what we're creating. This is what we've been talking about for three years. Um, and you guys are on that journey. I, um, I don't look at your accounts anymore as one dollar a coin. Okay, so just letting you know that little secret out of the bag now. So. Um, I was, but now it's um, gone up a little bit higher than that. But um, happy days for those who've got Daxi. Thank you very much, Ed. I really appreciate the time, effort, and vision that you've um, put into the Daxi community, the Daxi ecosystem, and especially the Daxi coin. There's some really exciting things happening with admin for Daxi Australia for the remainder of 2021. And I know the UK team, they're going to be absolutely rocking on with what's happening with pension funds and ISA funds over there. And I'm sure that whole system will rack out through the whole world, allowing people that have got gray hair and who are low tech and no tech to get involved with cryptocurrency safely, allow them to feel like they're part of a community, allow them to go out and have dinners and attend presentations and meetings with like-minded people who are loving the space within cryptocurrencies. They can learn about crypto safely and feel part of something a lot bigger than what they are. So thank you very much, Ed. You really appreciate your time and energy.